Cats are solitary creatures. Just leave me to my own devices. This is my territory and don't you dare invade it. And that's how they are with, uh, with people, with dogs, and most especially with other cats. That is just absolutely patently false. I mean, what were you talking about, Jackson? How did that even come out of your mouth? I don't know, man. I'm kind of ashamed of it. Well, tell everybody else you're ashamed. I'm ashamed. I'm sorry I said that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Cats are not solitary. Yeah, they are solitary hunters. Cats live in groups. If you've ever seen cats out on the street, you might see them alone, but chances are they're also living in groups. They form colonies. They are actually very cooperative. In fact, females will raise the kittens or help to raise the kittens of other females. So why is it that we think that cats should live by themselves? I would say the opposite. And I'll say it again, cats should live with other cats, and two cats is always better than one. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, not my cat. My cat would rather be alone. Okay, I'll let you think that for the moment. Let's just open our minds to the possibilities that lay in the universe of cat. Home. Home. I would like you to consider the rest of the cats in the world and how you could save a life. There are so many cats in the shelters right now, especially we are overflowing. If you can bring one cat out of a shelter environment, if you can take one cat even off the street, or you have a neighbor who's like, I'm moving and I can't take this cat, or out of rescues or whatever, you are saving a life. The math is really simple. You take someone in, someone doesn't have to die. So isn't it worth the attempt because I know you guys, you're watching this because you love cats, plural. Now, let's get to it. The first thing that I wanna talk about in terms of two is better than one is kittens. As far as I'm concerned, when it comes to adopting kittens, I get angry when, when people adopt out kittens from a litter and, and just adopt out one at a time. When I talk about kittens, I'm talking about, you know, eight weeks is the earliest adoptable age, and then let's say up to about four months, right in there, eight weeks, 16 weeks, even a little bit more, they have no territorial ulterior motive. They're not trying to establish territory and create those boundaries or whatever. They're about play. They're about that early form of how do I talk to other cats? What is play? When have I gone too far? Does it feel good to sort of snuggle or, you know, that kind of thing? So really without that, that and I'm not going to call it a mirror, but it is like they're, they're each other's best teachers and they learn how to play and they learn how to eat in the same space as another cat and they know how to hit those boundaries of what is play. And now you really hurt me, so I'm gonna hit you on the head. Okay, I won't do that again. Those all happen very young. And those also translate to how they socialize with humans as well. It increases their social mojo. They just have fun together. When I say to people you really really need to adopt two kittens instead of one and they'll say oh my god that's twice as much work no it's not these kittens will in in large ways make each other happy so when it comes to kittens folks listen to your cat daddy here adopt two two is better than one three is better than two but i don't want to push my luck with you but please don't adopt just one kitten. Even if it's said to be okay, make room in your heart for those two. Trust me, you will thank me. And so will they. Okay, so now let's move on to adult cats. And that's where you might say, well, I have a cat and he really doesn't want to be with other cats. I, I really don't think so. Okay, not so fast, my fine feline loving friend. I still think that cats should be with other cats. And to that end, we have to accept that by the time that they are adults, their sort of territorial nature is more well-formed. And in ownership, I have my sort of primal confidence, my cat mojo. But 
I will tell you that there is a way to bring your cat together with another cat. I just think you gotta follow my guidelines. Yes, follow my guidelines, and that gives you the absolute best chance of a great life together between cats. Anybody who tells you, and I've, uh, I have heard it so many times over the years, it makes me wanna scream, uh, th that, you know, bring home another cat, just throw them together, they'll work it out. Come on now. Even if you're one of those people who say, and I'm sure you will in the comments, yes, Jackson, that's how I did it, and they worked it out. It is cat Russian roulette. Maybe they will work it out, and maybe they won't. You gotta think about it in terms of you, in terms of a human, and any human who has had a roommate before, the last thing that you would do is if your friend calls you up and says, hey, I got this guy, no, you're looking for a roommate, I got a guy who's a, who, who needs a place to be, but what would you do? You'd be like, yeah, send him over with his suitcases, we're good to go. You would vet that person just to make sure that you're compatible. And then when you guys get together, there's always gonna be this feeling out period where you know you get to say, hey, listen, Jake, I, I really, I got this real pet peeve about dishes being piled up in the sink. And then you guys work it out from there and you learn how to be good roommates. And that takes us into the techniques involved to make cats their best roommates. Just introduce them slowly. Get them together in a way that they understand that the other one is not a threat, especially your existing cat. Listen, if you wanna know all about this, check out this video right here about how to introduce cats and that will give you all you need because really it's all about building a positive association. Every time they smell the other cat, and that's how we're gonna meet, smell first and then sight second. Every time I smell you, I smell something good. The only time I smell something good, i.e. food, treats, etc., I smell you. Hence, you can't really be a bad thing, you know? And then we work slowly into the other realms. So don't forget, if you were free feeding your cat, start getting it down to meals and only feed those meals on opposite sides of this closed door so that we can start building that positive association. And the other thing I would recommend you doing is finding those jackpot treats, those treats that your cats are like, Oh, I love that. And the only time they get that is in the presence of the new resident cat. And I love these treats. I've been using them forever. I love them because they're tasty, but also I haven't tried them. I love them because cats love them, but they're also freeze dried meat. So we're not getting all types of junk in their system. These are also wonderful because they just taste great. And again, they don't have a lot of filler in them. Check out my store to pick them up for your cat because they are cat daddy approved. A lot of times in a shelter or a rescue situation, you will see cats that are housed together. Sometimes they say they're a bonded pair and they have to go home together, but some are just hanging out in the same space and you can see they're fine hanging out with each other. They've sort of carved out a little bit of friendship uh, among them. Take them home together. It makes that adjustment into a new home so much easier because they have, again, there's that anchor where they know that I'm cool in this brand new territory and with these brand new humans because I've got my little feline anchor next to me that, that gives me that message that all is well in the world. So let's say that you have a cat at home and you're saying, okay, Jackson, I'll give you this one. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna bring home another cat. Now it's really important that we start to match these cats. First, let me dispel something. And this is in my experience, especially once cats are spayed and neutered, which hopefully every cat out there is spayed and neutered, at least yours, then the whole matching up males to males, males to females, females to females, I find it completely irrelevant. I think it's, it's much more about personalities and energy levels. I see a lot of folks adopt kittens or teens when they have a senior cat, and this is all totally subconscious but there is this sort of increasing awareness of the mortality of your senior. And just to sort of soften the blow, maybe, again, totally subconscious, you bring in a younger cat. That is, in my estimation, is a big mistake. It's setting yourself up for a lot of frustration uh, on the part, for sure, of the senior who just doesn't want anything to do with like bouncing off the wall energy, but also frustration on the part of the kitten or the teen who's looking for that that output of their energy and they're, they would normally get it from another cat their own age. Please consider matching your senior with another. That's an example of matching energy and, and just allowing for personalities. 
The same thing would go if you have a six month old in your house. I would stay at about six months. Maybe you can go up to a year and maybe go all the way down to kitten. It's all about matching energy to energy. Now let's start talking about personality and, and matching personality. Let's say that the cat in your home is what I call the mojito cat. I'm totally confident, totally like, hey, how's everyone doing over there? Come on in, you know, you want me to show you the kitchen over here? Come on, uh, you, you want a drink? You know, anything like that. That's that sort of party leader type of cat. If that's your cat, then it would be wonderful for you to bring in one that is just a little more, you know, not hide under the bed, but a little more standoffish because then your cat gets to act as a social bridge for, for that that little wallflower. So that wallflower gets to learn what it is to be confident and become confident because there's no quicker way to do that than to have a leader, to have somebody who can show them the ropes, so to speak. Now that said, if you have a cat in your home who's a wallflower, bringing home one who's a little more confident is actually a great compliment. If your cat hides all the time, you know, bringing someone in who's like, you know, the host of the Dean Martin Rose, come on in everybody, you know, sit down, let's have a good time together, might be completely over overwhelming, but somewhere in between that mojito and yours might be a great place to start. So after all this, you're like, yeah, my cat is an only cat. My cat just does not want to, I know it in the depths of my bones that my cat's gonna get really angry or, or, or who just see any other cat and they're, and they're like, I hate your face. I will always hate your face, get out. There are those cats, but how would you know? So one of the things I would say is that if you're adopting from any reputable rescue, any great shelter, they will say, if it's not working, just it's okay. You can bring them back. So we were just putting this video together and I was like, oh, you know what? There are reasons where your cat should be an only. Okay, so here we go. First thing is yes, there are cats in the world who uh, just wanna be onlys, who hate other cats, who might've been in a multi-cat household and, and they were always miserable. I get it, there are those cats. And if you don't know if that's your cat or not, well then, you know, you should find out. Here's a great way to find out. Most rescues, most shelters would be happy to have more foster parents and you can try. What's the worst thing that happens? Happens. The worst thing that happens is your cat really hates them, even after you've done an introduction process. And in that case, you know. Here's the second one. The second one would be if your cat is facing a terminal illness or something like that, even if their partner cat had passed on. I don't know. My personal take on that is if you just don't want them to have to go through the physical stress of introducing them to anybody. It doesn't matter who. Um, and my take on that would be just let them be around you and be in peace, especially if they're in a hospice situation. And number three, I think, is, you know, you just can't afford it. I mean, yes, there are costs associated with, with uh, having a cat, family member, and that is, you know, food, medical care, just in case, insurance, which I highly believe in, all that stuff and all the incidentals. Even though I love having cats together, and as you know, I think they should, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. It's okay, cut yourself some slack. It's not like you're a terrible person if you can't bring another cat into your life, and that's what I was just thinking about. I would love it if you would consider one thing and one thing only, and that is to subscribe to this channel because subscribing really does uh, make things tick around here. Actually, I, I lied. There's two things. Subscribe, then hit the bell because the bell also makes sure that you watch new videos because you hear about them before anybody else. Oh no, I lied. There's three things. Give us a little like. Uh, four things. Leave a comment. I want to know how to make this channel better and about new videos that you'd like to see. Okay, now I'm done. All right, after all of this, I hope you can entertain the thought that cats aren't by nature solitary. I hope you can entertain the thought that, you know, when you go out to adopt a cat or a kitten, that you would take home two kittens, maybe even three, that you would take home that bonded pair that's sitting in the shelter, that you would even think about matching to bring them home. If you've got one home, maybe you would entertain the thought that he or she could be with other cats. Hopefully, this is all gelling so that you can think to yourself, yeah, I could make this happen. And if you can do that, then I have done my job and my job is over for, for at least for today. So I'm gonna go hang out with my multiple cats right about now. All light, all love, all mojo, and don't forget two is better than one. 